CGI environment variables. All the CGI program will have access to the following environment variables. We know that always all the CGI programs can have can have an access over multiple different variables. So here in this case we will be discussing some of them. These variables play an important role while writing any CGI program. So here is the variable list for you. The first one is the content underscore type. The data type of the content used when the client is sending attached content to the server for example file upload etc. Next one is the content length. The length of the query information is available only for the post requests. We know that there are two type of requests are there. One is the post another one is the get. So HTTP underscore cookie. So return the set of cookies in the form of key and value pair. We know that always cookie decides onto our system using a key value pair. So that is the HTTP cookie will be the respective variable name which can be accessed from our CGI coding. So here in this way we are having different set of environmental variables and environment variables which a CGI script can access. So respective descriptions and meaning we have listed here. So these are the other four of them we have listed. Now let us type one program, let us write one program and where this environment variables will be accessed. So here this is a string type of array, the name of the array is env and it is having 24 locations and this is a constant string array. So it is having 24 locations and here we have mentioned 24 different environment variables. So they are deciding from the subscript 0 to 23. So now in the main program we have written the respective code and here you can find that i is ranging from 0 to 23. i is ranging from 0 to 23 and within this particular limit within this trtd html tags we are printing this envi. So that is the envi means we are just taking out the respective string in this env string const string array from the ith location and then get env this function has been called and envi dot c underscore str function has been called and the value thus obtained the value will be printed accordingly. So this is the code we have written I think for the better understanding let need not to discuss this one here let me go for the execution of the code. So here is a demonstration for you where this code will be executed and you can find that how my CGA, CGA script, my CGA program written in C++ can access environment variables and how the values are getting printed. So here is a demonstration for you. Here we have defined one string array with the name env with 24 locations subscript will be ranging from 0 to 23 containing 24 environment variables and within this body within the table tags we have executed one for loop and within this for loop we have printed the corresponding value of the array from the array env from the ith location and using the get env function also you are printing the respective value stored in the respective environment variable. And if the value, whatever the value is returned, what is the value is getting returned that has been put in character pointer value variable. And if the value is not equal to 0, then that will get printed. Otherwise, this error message will get printed. And this is the respective end of the TD and TR and table tag, body and HTML tags. So now this is the respective body we are going to execute. Here our program name is prog90.cpp. So for its execution let us go for the compilation. If I do the compilation and if there is no error is there then I shall have the successful completion of the compilation and that has got indicated here. So the executable file name is prog90.exe. So if I come to my workspace I have got this prog90.exe. So I am just making a copy of the same from the workspace and then I am going to this respective folder that is apache24 cgi bin which we demonstrated in our earlier demonstration also. So I am going for this paste. So I am just making a rename of this. I am mean, just giving this name as page3.cgi. So here we can change the 
program extension from exe to cgi and also the the respective name file name can also be changed so page 3 dot cgi is the name now i shall come to my browser now i shall come to my browser so here is my browser if i open and if i go for local host if i go for local host and that will be page 3 dot cgi if i go on execution so local host slash cgi hyphen bin slash page 3 dot cgi then all those 24 environment variable names and their respective value whatever they are containing they will get listed on the screen in the browser screen i think now this program is getting clear to you thanks for watching this video